Uh, another Manaru list, so Manaru Fen Guri, that's Tim's, we've seen that. A Dash Chopper list, uh, the Gold Squads and Miranda, and then the Dash Nora list. So interestingly enough, uh, there's one or two Ryads in here, but no Defender list, no Defender heavy list in the top 16. Uh, a lot of Imperial Aces, a couple Manaru lists, Manaru Aces lists, and then it's all Rebels. Like, there's so many Rebels. Uh, all K-Wings and YT-2400s and YT-1300s. Oh, and one Decimator list. Or two. One or two. So that's what the top 16 is uh, like. There's not that many, not that many scum lists, not that many Imperials, just a couple, uh, just a couple of each, but a ton of rebel lists. It's interesting, it's interesting to see that Don's already kind of formed up into a formation. Um, I don't know if anybody has know Don's one of the better formation flyers. He used to fly uh, swarms way back in the wave one days. Mm -hmm. Don's quite a competent player. It's going to be a good match. That was before I came around, uh, so I never really got to see that. But I feel like Don's won some tournaments in his day. More than. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about Joe's tournament record, but Joe's always fun to fly against. Joe plays quite high at our regionals last year, and I definitely know he made cut top six at nationals, I believe, as well. Mm -hmm. I think he might have been playing since wave three, he said. From old guards. So I'm really wondering how Joe's planning on approaching this. I, I mean, the TLTs will eventually whittle down each of these K-Wings pretty easily. But he's got to be worried about a uh, slam in cluster mines right on his head, right? Yeah, that's that's the key. I mean, that's a potential for seven damage around if everything goes your way with Sabine. You really have to come at them from behind or else they will just slam into your face. And given that the uh, Y wings have no repositioning whatsoever, <laughs> oh, someone's coming around with the last piece of the pizza. I'm totally gonna take one of those. To meet you, all. Sure, I'll take that one. Too. Thank you. Thank much you obliged. very much. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh! They're all over the place. That guy's pulling up. Eject! Eject! <laughs> Looks like the magnets on that K-Wing aren't the, aren't the strongest. I have a feeling this is going to be a little slow to begin with, but then things are going to fall fast once they actually, uh, actually approach each other. Those cluster mines do so much damage, especially after the recent um, back yeah, change where the hit, it's hits and crits uh, hit now with those things. Yeah, they were quite reliable for me today too, unfortunately. I was the unreliable part of my list. <laughs> And what exactly were you flying? I was flying a uh, Super Dash and then a uh, fully kitted out Warden with clusters, uh, extra munitions, advanced slam, and then. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't even remember what it's called. The other bomb, the uh, thermal detonator. Well, Super <laughs> Dash is always consistent. Yeah, Null Faction is quite popular here in Toronto, apparently. <laughs> we're big proponents of the Null Faction. Apparently we had a data entry problem with the uh, with the details in Cryodex to begin with. So it looks like Miranda's going to try and cut in front of these uh, these wardens, but uh, I don't know. I think that that might be bad news for Miranda if. if um, 
if Don manages to deploy a bunch of clusters all in one spot, Miranda just goes over it. She'll just melt in one turn, and that's 52 points gone. Hmm. No, unfortunately, uh, Phil's not flying B-Wings today. We wish he was. He's uh, flying um, Rack Riyadh. Yes. He did place quite well. He's on fire so far. That Rack Riyadh list of his is pretty intense. Uh, I believe he has... Um, uh, on Riyadh, he actually has Lone Wolf rather than Push the Limit, which is the standard, um, which makes Riyadh very annoying. Um, really consistent damage, really consistent evades. So I don't know what... I think Joe will probably go with a hard two on Miranda and slam her out of there. Because I don't know if he wants to try to... Or a one bank and see what happens, because... Don can't close the distance to bomb anybody because K-Wings, unfortunately, don't have hard threes. Right. Well, they can hard two. And then a two straight puts them right around the middle finger. Hard two or two bank, and then drop your cluster mines right in front of where Miranda's going. Well, the hard two won't get them there. They'd actually be blocking the space where the middle finger is, and he'd bomb himself. So he can only throw one through there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then it comes back around there. Mm hmm One thing Don always has is a plan, so. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how this plays out. So that's a two bank from that first warden. Uh, the one with chopper on it, I believe. And I think the key to beating this list is to take out the one with Sabine on it as soon as possible. Well, absolutely. That cuts the damage output considerably. Yeah, that extra damage is, is uh, too good. Yeah. Why I'm assuming Don will try to keep the bonus of being in the back as often as possible. Mm -hmm. Which against triple TLTs is not really going to do much for him. Mm -hmm. We'll see who Joe decides to target, but I'm assuming it'll be Sabine. I think Don's only choice is to tank the initial salvo and then slam past him and drop bomb all over Miranda if he comes in, if Joe comes in with him. Mm -hmm. It is a scary list to fly against though. I think I've flown against someone running this once. I played Steven Moss once, I think, at face-to-face uh, at -face games. And uh, yeah, not 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 a fun experience. And he's even got intelligence agent on one of those uh, warden squadron pilots. Which means that uh, he's going to be able to predict a lot of what uh, Miranda's planning on doing. Which makes it easy for him to decide whether or not he wants to slam and drop a bomb, or just stay where he is and drop a bomb. Yeah, the intelligence agent is a big part of this list. I think mm -hmm. it really helps. Not that it's that difficult, I guess, because, I mean, cluster mines so wide. Right? Yeah, but you know what? On smaller base ships, though, you're you're hopefully. No, he's good. Should be good. Yep. see some action here I think it comes big one. yeah so this round I think we're finally gonna see some bombs laying down be some TLT shots here but nothing major Miranda might be shooting what could be a missile the homing missile yep. yep she's burning a shield there goes homing missile five dice homing missile into the number two warden squadron pilot so that's one chopper that's one chopper 
No, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Miranda's not in a great spot Four here. It'll so be far, very easy. Five, and Joe gets five hits on that one. Hmm? Five hits. Where are you seeing that? The lock. The I think the dice cam might be frozen again. I think the dice cam's frozen. Yeah. 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 One evade result. Sorry, that's technically yeah. So he, he took four damage. So five hits. There, uh, there were five hits there, one evade result. So Warden Squadron Pilot number two has lost all its shields. And sorry, we'll get that dice cam up for you guys again in a second. <clears throat> yeah, I agree, John Rainbow. I don't, I don't think Miranda's in a great spot now either. Uh, four damage through. Four damage to number two. So that's uh, two attack results and zero net. Zero evades, I believe. That should be two shields off Miranda. And because she burned, she's going to feel this now. So Miranda's yeah, actually lost one more shield? No, she's actually just about to lose two more. So that actually makes Miranda shieldless, I believe. She's shieldless now? Uh, she's taking a crit. She's taking a crit. We didn't see the crit, sorry. Can we get that dice cam back up? It's still... I, I don't know what's about I'm trying. Yep. It's, uh, the camera's not working. The camera's not working. I don't know. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get the crit in a second. So she took damage engine. Miranda has oh, okay. damage engine, so no hard twos for her today. Yep. So Miranda's taken a uh, just actually, a bunch of. She took actually an obscene amount of damage, all things considered. She took five damage and then the one that she lost to her shield. Yes. So she's actually only down to three hull. So that's actually a huge swing in the uh, in the turn now because mm. I feel like Don's gonna come through with his two. Gonna two bank and just put that Connor net. And the real shame is the TLT Y Wings didn't get to be part of this initial uh, fight, I don't think. Yeah. It doesn't look like they're in range to take TLT shots. No. So I think on this turn, if I'm done, number two, I three bank and drop that cluster mine right on top of Miranda. Yep. Oh, Kim. Dice Cam is back up. Are we sure it's live or is it still stuck? Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, we've got action on the dice camera again. <coughs> yeah, Juice, that's, I think that's exactly what it is. And plus, the burning of the shield, you, you don't expect to take five damage from uh, two dice attacks, but there is three of them, so it does happen. Three two dice attacks, and you've only got one... Uh, so one evade die. One happens. evade. So it'll be... getting a little bit of adjustment on the dice cam. Yeah, so, I mean, K-Wing number two can just three bank, drop some cluster mines on Miranda, who only has three health at the moment. That's not good. So that could take Miranda out of the game, and then this is a much different game. You know what, though? Three bank might not actually do it. Three bank might be... Yeah, that's a good point. You might have to go two bank, slam for two. Yeah, two, two. Oh, shit. It's okay. <laughs> That's all right. There's only a little bit left in that. I was hoping one of you would make that joke. Mm. That joke. Mm. <laughs> so actually, it might even be one bank, one bank slam, one straight. No. Two bank and two straight would probably do it. Honestly, I think the three bank is enough. At the very least, she can't hard one. So she has to go forward. Yeah. Or she has to bank. Left. I'm just wondering if the three bank would put the cluster misses below oh, that's Miranda. That's a good point. That might be probably about, I would say it'd be like there. Oh, yeah, you're right. It might be too yeah. far back. Yeah, it's too far back. Yeah, there we go. So two straight? I know he's in a two bank slam, I bet. Uh, oh, yeah. And then literally drop it on her head. Oh, no. Yeah, beautiful move. Again, uh, see, trust Don to know what's going on. 
two straight, a two bank for. And yeah, listed bean. That's going to be potentially. No, that'll be three though. damage for sure. Because he's going to hit her with two, I believe. There's a little bit of movement going on there. Yeah, that's tricky. This is very important to know how many of these cluster binds are going to hit her. No, but he might be. Okay, but the cluster mines deploy one away, right? Use your one template. I think he hits her with uh, two of them. It's quite the possibility. At the very least, he absolutely has to go for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe he's not. Oh, here it comes, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's she's getting hit by two. One and two, yeah. yep, definitely two. And then there'll be a third one out on the rock there. And then the other two cablings can just hard two or soft one and just focus and shoot her with uh, primaries if she's still alive after this roll. Yeah. Uh, I think that's nudged a little because she was not on the rock before, but well, I don't think they're being the too... Game, four so dice. That's, that's a hit and a crit. And it looks it. like a that's blank. Gonna be, that's going to be it for Miranda. Yep. It's and Sabine, gone. Miranda is gone out of the game. Yep. Yep. There you go. Yeah, yeah, we got it. So that's four all in, which was nasty. Absolutely nasty, those bombs. So the question is, can uh, two Y-wings with TLTs take care of all these K-wings? I think it's possible, but you just have to find a way to stay far, 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 far away from them. Which is not easy. So the question is, what's next? Joe might have put in three banks for his wives. Three bank on one, two on the other to get, mm. them, get them around the rock, but... Wait, have the wives activated already? No. No, they have not. What PS are the Warden Squadron? Two? Two. Hmm. The golds are two, so that would mean, obviously, that Don's got uh, initiative. Yeah. That must be so, so so disheartening for Joe. Well, I mean, he did lose half his list. Yeah, that's you know more than half your list and a lot of the firepower there. Yeah. So doing a self bump with the one on the back. Oh, that's actually a good move. Yep. I think that one on the back is going to have a shot at number yep. two. And then a slow roll there. That was actually quite a smart move. Now is he going to have a primary shot at K wing number two? Probably. Well, I think he'd take the TLT on, on the one with Sabine on it. Maybe. Or do you just try and take one off the board right now? That is a damage one. That's a good point. Yeah. I don't think he has arc with the uh, B-wing B. Oh, sorry, A-wing. Oh, Y-wing B. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, that's tricky. Just have to see what the K-wing's wing in the way. <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely Doesn't that work? It looks like not to me, but hard to see. Two dice primaries that from Dawn. Focus for the one hit. So that was K wing three. No evade on the Y wing. So Y wing B, I believe, takes two damage. Another shot. That's two hits for Dawn. Yep. Uh, focus for a evade. 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 The, yeah. So Y wing B is taken three damage. So there go its shields. Don's uh, primaries and his killings are on fire, apparently. Well, I mean, it would be a much different story against a list with uh, high agility ships. Not so here, though. It looks like Y Wing B or A is just at range two. Yeah, it's only just out of range one. 
Oh, we're going to use the plastic ruler. Yep, looks like pretty clearly range two to me. Yeah. So TLT can shoot. Actually, the best thing is too because um, Don has a uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. Next turn, he can two bank and drop another cl uh, cluster mine on Y wing A. Oh, uh, how about a hard two? Hard two would be a nice two. Hard yeah. two, drop a cluster mine on all. It puts him dangerously close to the rock, but that might be the smart way to go. Yeah, the hard two might be. Hard the two, way. drop a cluster mine on all, uh, both of them. Yep. Did that TLT do any damage? Doesn't look like it. That looks like two hits. Um, I think that's one evade or? Yeah, he can only roll one. And one hit. And blank. That's a blank. So two damage off of. Uh, uh, the chopper one. Number two, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Two shields left to me, right? And one left to Oh, okay. Uh. So just updating our, our numbers here. It looks like the gold squadron only took two hits, not not three. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're gonna see Don drop two sets of mines this turn. Yeah, you hard two with number two, yep. drop some mines. Yep. And then then you uh, then three, you bug out with three. Three, drop some mines. Well, right. you move the Sabine K-Wing first to, to not take the damage. Actually, you never know what he might do. He might do... If you, if you three bank with number three here, you can just drop mines right in front of where the A-Wing B has to go. And then Sabine's K-Wing has to move two B. to the way to the left. Mm -hmm. So many bombs this turn. It's going to be... Pretty bad. This one might be over pretty quickly. Now this is just like a list I just have no idea how to approach. How do you beat this thing? It's tough. Stay far, far away. <laughs> but has it been winning tournaments? I know it's been a popular list. A lot of people have been playing it. Um, I mean, it's one. I think it's won a few. I know it's placed. Mm. Like top fours and top 16s. Gets lots of top 16 finishes. And it also has the virtue of being a lot of fun to fly. <laughs> Probably frustrating as hell to fly against, though. Yeah, I would imagine. Because <laughs> it's bombs and those two dice primaries. Just tear apart one agility ships. I think number two is going to hard two, just in between them. Mm -hmm. That would be my my thoughts. I don't see why you wouldn't, especially if you have the initiative here. It's almost a situation where you want the initiative when you're flying against these K-Wings so that... Uh, you can move before they can. You can move before, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that they don't know exactly where you're going to be. <clears throat> but even then, then... again, then they know exactly where you're going to be for all the reveal bombs. So there's actually not really a right way. Yeah, that's true. They've got reveal and, uh, and action bombs, so it's bad either way. On which ship you're thinking for that one? 
one left, then slam for bombs. Number two couldn't do a one left. It would fit. Uh, it wouldn't fit. A one bank left might fit. Yeah. Then the slam. I think the hard two is the best choice because I, I think he think tags the, everybody. Yeah. Oh, he's into he's into Asian, intelligence agenting. So Y wings just banking away. It looks like three bank. And now he gets to decide what he wants to do with that information. Really, you think that the one bank would work better? I feel like hard two. He could hit both of them with it. Well, it would be placing further back. Well, he did do the one bank. Does that fit? Yeah. Looks like it does. Oh, I see what you guys are saying. Yeah, that makes sense because the the, the two might have put the bomb too far back. So now if mm. he one banks straight and then drops it, it'll be where his ship is right now. Which is what yeah. We're thinking of. Well, it'll hit it'll and hit again, the, the back one, but it's not right going to hit. Uh, it'll hit A, but it won't hit B. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> it's a very good prediction. Now we hold that there. And this is the second uh, cluster mine use for uh, yeah. Pilot 2. So cluster mines are now gone. Oh, that does hit both of them. Well placed. Yeah, which is why he went for the one bank sloop. Very That's well placed. Idea. Bravo. Nice bomb, Don. So let's try it. two dice on. That's, That's two nothing. eyeballs, yeah. so nothing. And. So that was the first one on B? Yeah. Nada. And the one on A? It looks like two. Two hits. A loses two shields. Yeah. Well, three with Sabine. Three if shields. He uses it, if he uses it. I don't see why he wouldn't. Well, I mean... Two and then one with Sabine? <coughs> yeah, which confirmed. Yeah. So three shields gone. No, it looks like he still got two... Uh, he still got one shield there. I don't think he used Sabine there. Used Sabine when he missed. Oh. oh, okay. That makes sense. Great. When it misses, you can still cause one yeah. damage? Sabine is whenever you remove the token yeah. from... No, that's right. So then B should only have... Yeah, A has two shields. Or A has one shield, B has zero shields. Yeah. But it's the way you have it. Yeah. But now, here comes another one. I'm betting, I'm betting two bank, slam into a two straight, drop cluster mines on B. Oh, with number one? Uh, with number two. Two bank. Uh, we number three. Oh, sorry, number three, yeah. Two, two bank, bank, two straight, cluster mines on B. Uh, I don't think he clears with the two straight. Well, we'll see. No. Oh. He's doing a reveal bomb. Oh, right, because int Intel agent, he knows exactly where that Y-Wing's going. The Y-Wing's doing a three bank. Yeah. So sure. seismic charge is going to be there. Oh. That works too. Although, you know what might have been better here? Because mm. if he cluster mined here, the Y-Wing would go over well, two you of them. You couldn't have because cluster mine is a reveal bomb. No, no, if he, actu if he moved to where he is and then cluster mine. Oh, sorry, cluster mine, yeah. Could have worked. Although, no, that would have gotten in the way of number one here. Now he's going to try not to hit himself with the bomb. Well, she's not going to. No, she might bomb. Yep, but I think that's okay. It's acceptable. Yep. Because who cares? <laughs> She'll be in a great place to... Uh, Finish off that Y wing with a couple uh, primary shots. Yeah, which will probably be range ones. Mm -hmm. so look at those lonely little cluster mines just hanging out. And the, the thing is, uh, Y wing A is going over that cluster mine no matter what. Yep. Right next to that seismic charge, which I believe just does one damage, right? Yeah, Nothing one to everybody fancy. in there, but two with Sabine. Uh, but but Sabine's been used, round, yes. Yeah. Which is probably why he put the damage onto the one in front, knowing full well because of the intelligence agent that was going to hit his, his seismic. Mm -hmm. So he basically 
maximizing his damage against that one. Yep, so, oh, this one's also doing a three bank in the other direction. And neither of them is going to get TLT shots on the they'll nearby. Be able to plink, they'll be able to plink at number two, I think. <laughs> That's a good question, why he's not using Connor Nets in this build. I just think the uh, seismic charges plus the cluster mines means he's got both reveal and action damage. So from my perspective, having ran a cave in with bombs too, the reason why I did it was because uh, the meta right now is so big base heavy mm -hmm. and uh, cluster mines really punish big bases. Oh yeah. Like an earlier match, I was able to slam into and drop uh, cluster mine right onto Ray and do five damage in one turn. Mm -hmm. I think it's Gold Squadron Pilot B that's lost uh, health. And we're rolling cluster mine damage right now? No, this is... Just take one hit. And one of eight. Yeah, one of these pilots still has a shield. I think... And that's two focus tokens, so it's two. <laughs> and then one of eight again, so it's yeah. one. Tell. I B, think our base I think. Is over and unfortunately, we can't. Crit. Unfortunately, we can't see uh, the cards yep, here so because Joe's cards are a little off. I think the third set of cards is actually off the camera. Yeah, that's that's. The thing. I think all that what we're seeing there is that's Miranda, and then we're seeing the other Y. Should ask Joe to shift over his cards. All right, some TLT shots. First one blanks out, I think. And it doesn't seem like a blue triangular spotter piece thingy. There's number one on it. I think that gets chopper. Chopper's done. All right, so uh, the chopper K-wing is dead, but that's okay. <coughs> There's still two K-wings left. So what do you do here? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Y-Wing yeah, A the, is just that, facing another cluster mine. He, the reason why he pulled that attack back was because he had advanced land and we didn't put down the weapons disable token, so oh, that oops. one couldn't have shot that round. Yep. That makes sense. Uh, just shifting Joe's cards over so we can see the Y-Wings. There we go. Yep. So two damage on B. So, now if you're Joe, what do you do? Uh, well, I mean, I don't like where Y-Wing A is positioned. Hmm. Especially considering... Well, I mean, uh, Sabine's K-Wing can just do a one forward so or I'm two forward. I think if I'm done, I hard three with uh, K-Wing three, and then Sabine does uh, three forward and just drops... Well, Sabine does two forward, drops uh, cluster mines. Either a two or three. Right. I think it's a two. Or maybe because one he'll, one he'll forward have a that hits him with like six because it's gone. One forward would put the cluster mines right where the uh, K wing is now because there's one space between yep. them. So two forward would put them just ahead of where the K wing is now, and then just so uh, you could cluster mines. Uh, Gold Squadron Pilot A, and then he moves over another cluster mine, because there's no way he's avoiding that. Um, and so he takes at least two cluster mines, maybe a third one this turn. Oh, I think I know it. No, he wouldn't do that. 
The unfortunate thing is that leaves Sabine's K wing pretty. Uh, that leaves Sabine, Sabine's K wing pretty exposed. But, eh, I mean to get three cluster mines off on a on a Y wing, I think it's worth it. Hard two for uh, intelligence agent K wing. Uh, I think he's on that rock. Yeah. <clears throat> um, after Swiss, Joe was what? Fourth? Fifth? I'm not actually sure. Let me double check that. I, I, I know where to find that. Um, <coughs> where is it? Joe Silva was... <laughs> Joe was fourth after Swiss? Yeah. And uh, Devin, no, sorry. Um, Don was 13th. After Don Swiss. was 13th, yep. So Don went 4 0, or 4 and 2. Joe went 5 and 1. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I'm not sure why Don went the, the, the hard two there either myself. Yeah, like a one forward, he would have just been able to lay cluster mines. I feel like that was a very strange choice on uh, on Don's part. I mean, it would have split him up, but I would, yeah, it would have hammered that A so, uh, hammered that Y wing so hard. And now he's just let the Y wings get away for a bit, and they'll, now they'll have a chance to TLT. Yeah, regroup and TLT. Mm -hmm. it's still, a, it's still a game here. I know it doesn't feel like it, but there's still very much yeah. a game. Well, that said, uh, we know one bomb is going off. Yeah. So he'll take one extra damage with Sabine at least. Yeah. So here's the two dice for the cluster mines. Oh, that looks Hit like crit. Damage. That's three. Hit be crit. Three with Sabine. Yep. And one That's of which brutal. is a crit. Oh, uh, you just take the hit. Is it just a hit? Yeah, it's no, just you damage, suffer damage. It's okay. damage on each hit or yep. crit result. Yep, okay. I don't play bombs very often. Yeah. In fact, I do, I do not own a single bombing chip. K Wing is a phenomenally fun ship. I, I do not own a single bomb token. I should get a K Wing at some you point. Get a <laughs> TLTs are nice to have. Mm. I have one. Someone gave me one at some point. <coughs> so here comes the primaries from K Wing 2. That with looks one like result. one hit. On which target? And then uh, two evades for net of zero, I believe. On the, on the B Wing B. Yep. They are both at. Uh, B is at. Two health, and A is at uh, A is at three health. All right, first TLT shot, just one hit, evaded. One hit. Is he going to spend that target lock? Nope. No, nope. it. Surprised he target locked. I guess he wasn't sure if he was in range. Two hits. That'll be a guaranteed yep. hit on Sabine's K Wing, I believe, is the one we're shooting here. Yep. We're focusing it down. Yep. Four from the TLTs went into the Sabine's K Wing. Yeah, if Joe can get Sabine's K Wing off the board, he's a little less threatened by the bombs. Maybe. <laughs> I got three health left. If he can line up another round of double TLT fire, True. it's more those, conceivable that it goes down. Those two dice primaries could potentially finish off the um, uh, finish off the Y wings, and it is simultaneous fire, so there's no PS advantage here. It's funny though, if uh, Don had gone forward and dropped that cluster bomb, I don't think he would have been in range of B. So he would have only would have taken. Oh uh, no, I think he because he would have been about as far ahead as he is now, just over to the side. He still would have been range Good three, um, but. Uh, he would have done a lot more damage to Y Wing A for sure. Yeah. 
Hmm. Looking over across the uh, across the room here, and there's actually a group of players who are running a uh, Death Star trench run uh, scenario for fun. Those who didn't make the top 16. Some of us drink commentary instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'll skip out and go play around or something. I don't there know. You go. <laughs> um, oh, hard two. And then what? Two bank and drop bombs? Let's see. Yeah, looks like it. Two bank, drop bombs. Oh. Oh. You might actually only hit him with one. Nope, he gets him with two. Mm. He's going to get him with two. Oh, there goes B-Wing number two. And even if he didn't, or sorry, uh, Y-Wing number two, and even if he didn't, that Y-Wing is not getting far enough away to avoid the... So he gets him with both. Uh, does he get him with the center one? Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure, definitely. because they've got that lip. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They've nudged him a little. Well, he might not even be there, so he's just probably just roll the damage before they go through all this effort. Well, they're trying to see if that middle one hits or not. It does. It's been nudged. It hit before, so... I would say it does. Yeah, there's one damage there. One damage. Oh, I think they're keeping the middle one. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've decided it doesn't hit. All right. Oh, no. Well, yeah, I was going to say. They decided it hits. So where's the other roll? Here comes. There it goes. Ooh, Lanks. He's alive. So it's the beam. We'll have one left. Nope. Dead? No. Oh. Nope. Anything else in extra obstacles that has missed. Missed. Hopefully misplaced in the green flag? Sabid's K Wing just tearing it out. And that Warden Squadron pilot isn't even going to die this turn. He can only take two damage from the TLT. Oh, why would you go anywhere near that thing? <laughs> the thing with advanced slam on these things, it just means they can drop the bombs wherever the heck they want. It's so easy for them. So we just got confirmation that Billy's uh, striker list got to, uh, made it past the next round. Nice. The striker list? Yeah. Who did he beat? Let's find out. Hey, Billy. Billy, who did you beat? Pardon? Who did you beat? Uh, <coughs> who was he playing? He was playing on Poe. On Poe, okay. So Billy Chandler in that... Uh, uh, striker Omega Leader Riad list uh, beat a Han Po list to advance to the next round. We just found out. Also, um, Phil. Won Phil Gales yep. uh, with Phil his Gales. Rack Chiranel list. Yep. Do we know who he was playing? So we've got another Rack Chiranel list. Uh, or sorry, uh, Rack Riad list uh, moving on to the next round as well. And it's looking pretty clear to me that uh, Don is going to advance to the next round after this. Let's, let's see. Hmm? <laughs> Three hull on that Y wing. Uh, um, he'd have a very. He'd have to be very lucky with his dice. Does he still uh, have Joe. extra munitions? He still, he still has one more. He still has one more cluster mine. On three, I think. Yeah, three still got one more mine and, and so does one, one seismic at least. Yeah, they've got their seismics as well. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's looking tough. But what do you do with this Y wing? Hard two? I think you would have. I would have hard. I would have gone the other direction. I would have gone the other direction in the first place, but yeah. right now you hard two. I think because yeah, he can't. Done, he can't I get maybe... you with a seismix, but he could. He could place the. Um, he could place three the clusters. Straight, three bank. Yeah, or three straight, straight, three. Or two straight, hard two? Two straight, hard two. No, right that might be face. too far. Two straight, two, two bank would put it right in front of his face. Like, he could place those cluster mines in a place where that Y wing is going over them. Yeah. 
think uh, reigning national champion Allen also moved on. Good to know. I think. Wait for confirmation on that. I don't think there's any pal bases or any Commonwealth defenders in top 16. I think we could check. Uh, I did not see a single pal bases. To be honest with you, we uh, there were not a lot of uh, trip defenders or or Commonwealth defenders at all. I don't know if it's Commonwealth defenders. Pal, pal Commonwealth is Commonwealth plus defenders. Riot and Vessery, right? Yeah, it's essentially what Allen flew at Nationals last year, and it also right. won the Australian Nationals. So that's how it kind of got named Commonwealth defenders. Oh, I see. You guys won those Nationals with it, <clears throat> but I believe the list came from Major Juggler. I think it was his list, or hers. I don't know if it's a female or male. Don't want to assume. <laughs> so that's two hit results. At least, yep. And two one hits. Made. So that's two more damage? Mm -hmm. One more damage? Oh, sorry, just one more damage? No. Ooh, that looks like a three. 25 minutes remaining in the round, players. 25 minutes remaining in the round. Oh, is that primaries? Some shields, some shields gone off of the, uh, yeah, was, he took a primary ring yep. shot. And roll three hits. There you go. Wild wings is primary. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't know what it is. I think um, I think collectively Toronto just seemed to have gotten burnt out on defenders, or if we all thought everyone was going to attack against it, so we all came with stuff that we thought could take, you uh, know, that said, Peritani there, or things like that. Because we're seeing a lot of that here. There are a lot of individual defenders, uh, and, yeah. and it's mostly Riad uh, that at least in the top the sixteen. Uh, there's a lot of Riad, uh, but it's Riad in and amongst other lists. Um, just not no triple defender lists going on, and I didn't see one well, ball basis. Well, that's what I, I had to look on Reddit to find out why they were calling it uh, Commonwealth, and that's what somebody on Reddit said. We were lovingly calling it Palp Sickles because uh, the defender looks like a sickle for the Soviet sickle. So <laughs> that, that was Tim. He created that. He coined that the term. That's what we used to call it in the PTL, but. <laughs> There's also, um, uh, I also, I always thought it had something to do with the fact that it was Count Riot, or Countess Riot, and like, like, a, Colonel Vessery? It could it be. Colonel, he's, he's a colonel. Colonel, is it Colonel Vessery? Yeah, he's Colonel. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I thought it had something to do with the fact that she was a Countess, but, eh, whatever. So he lost the Y, eh? I'm always done. Is the Y wing dead? No, it's just it's off the, it's oh. off the, uh, oh, is it under the wing? Oh, oh okay. it is. Oh. Yeah, they've taken the model off. Which means that's a, it's another cluster wing. Which we can't. Yeah. It's just the edge of the board, unfortunately. Can't quite see what's going on there, but I think we can safely assume it means the death of that Y-wing. Statistically speaking, that should get him. Because K-wings clearly make the best bombers in the game. Game, he got it. One hit and Sabine, and that is game. Yeah. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Don Looks moves like on. Uh, Don moves on with his triple K wing list. Uh, he'll be heading into the top eight.